Patterns and abstract designs are hot. And they're even hotter on hoodies, which is why you should definitely be selling them. And if you need more convincing, I've got a whole list. High profit, evergreen, infinite design possibilities, and everybody loves hoodies. P.S. If you're new here and don't know some of these terms, don't worry, I'll explain them in a sec. I'm Leah, and I'm gonna show you how to create the ultimate custom AOP hoodie that's sure to sell. All over print, aka AOP products, are the perfect blank canvas for when you get that creative itch. And if you're wondering whether it's worth adding AOP hoodies to your existing store, three words, high profit margin. That's right, the relatively low product cost plus the massive print area means there are no bounds when it comes to setting your profits and creating unique value. And if that's already not enough to convince you, Hoodies in general are known for both their comfort and functionality, meaning they're evergreen across the seasons and speak to a wide demographic. Head to printify.com, find catalog in the menu, and select AOP clothing, or just enter the specific item in the search bar. Choose your style and click start designing to be taken to our product creator. On the left side, you'll see the product name, print provider, and available variants. You'll also find a downloadable design template, which is good if you prefer to design on a different platform like Photoshop or Illustrator. Moving down, you'll find a cost breakdown and design guidelines, which I'll get into in a moment. You can open and close this info anytime by clicking the info button here. To add a design, you can upload your own file from your device or cloud storage and check the print file requirements here. You can add text, an image from your library, free graphics from our library, a previously created template, designs from Shutterstock, which you only pay for after it sells, hire a professional, or try our AI image generator. I'll show you how in a bit. I'll add my own design by dragging and dropping it into the product creator. Let's talk about those design guidelines I mentioned earlier. You'll notice a gray area, which is also known as the bleed area. This is where seams will be located, and our design should cover this area to ensure there won't be any blank spots. Any important design elements should be in the white area to avoid potentially being cut off. You'll see that the pocket area is also grayed out. This has its own print area, so we can adjust its design separately if needed. We can change the size of our design by clicking and dragging any corner, rotate it at any edge, and adjust the size of our workspace by zooming in and out here. We can position our design by clicking and dragging, or we can do all of that more precisely in the Variants and Layers panel on the right. In the top toolbar, we can flip our image, fit or fill it to the placeholder, remove the background, create a pattern, crop it, duplicate it, or delete it. We can also apply it to all of the print areas or save it as a template for later use. I'm going to make a pattern using our pattern tool. First, I'll adjust the design and then toggle the Create Pattern button here. Adjust the spacing using the sliders or choose Preset Spacing. Let's see how our hoodie looks so far by previewing it. Uh-oh, looks like only part of our hoodie is gonna have a design. Let's fix that by applying our design to all areas. Now we can see that each print area has a design and individually adjust any area if we need to. Let's take another look. That's better. To get a more accurate representation of how the final printed product will look, we can view our mockup in CMYK mode. I wanna make a few more adjustments. I'll add more size variants here and change the background color here. Choose a pre-selected color or add a hex code for a custom color. Let's take one final look and see how it looks on our models. We can also add a custom background photo and download the mockups to use in other places, like a social media post. I like my hoodie, so I'm gonna save it. Let's make a few more hoodies to get those creative juices flowing. Coming up with a short, clever text is an art in itself, and simple text designs can sell really well, but the right placement can bring it to the next level. Picture this, you're at the last leg of a race and your biggest rival is right behind you, but then they see this unspoken message on the back of your hoodie. Click Add Text on the left side and choose a font. 
drag and drop the text box where you want it and enter your text. Resize it at the corners and adjust as needed. In the top toolbar, we can change our font type and size, alignment, or duplicate. I'll add another line of text in the same style, but in a different color. Let's preview it. The text is a little too big in my opinion, so let's resize it. By clicking and dragging the cursor over both text elements, we can adjust them at the same time. Let's take another look. This is more readable, so I'm gonna save. Color blocking is a striking design technique. It's modern, sophisticated, and super easy to make on Printify. I'm gonna go for a pastel color palette because I love the way it looks, but this look is so customizable to your niche. Think earth tones, goth colors, beachy vibes, literally any color scheme you want. Watch. I've already uploaded the colors I wanna use so I can find them in my library. And then I'm going to add the different colors to different print areas. I'll start with blue on the front and front waistband. Make sure to cover the entire print and bleed areas. And I'm going to add the same color to the back. Now, for the pocket, I want a different color. I'll simply duplicate my color block to cover the whole print area. Pro tip, designs will be compressed into a single layer before being sent to the printer. Let's move on to the sleeves. I want different colored sleeves and cuffs, so I'm going to place my design over the print area and then crop it to precision. And lastly, we're gonna match our hood to our pocket. In the last view, we can check all of the print areas at once. Let's preview our final hoodie. Okay, I'm actually obsessed. Who's gonna buy me one of these? Let's for sure save this one. If you wanna try color blocking too, like this video so you can quickly come back to it. But for now, I'm having too much fun to stop just yet. Let's look at a few more ideas. Create a striking visual impact with geometric patterns. Simple shapes like circles, triangles, and rectangles can create a bold yet minimalistic aesthetic or go for a more mind-bending effect with a 3D illusion. Let's make one using our AI image generator. Enter a prompt and watch it generate some options. Click on the one you like to add it to the product and adjust as needed. If you see low resolution, don't worry, we'll automatically enhance it before sending it to print. In our preview, we see right away that we've got a lot of blank areas to cover. We can apply this same pattern to all the print areas at once by clicking Apply to All Areas in the top toolbar. We can navigate to each print area by clicking these buttons down here. On the back side, there's a bit of the bleed area trying to sneak past us. Let's move our design to cover that up and check the rest of our print areas. Pro tip, if you hold the space bar, you'll see the cursor turn into a little grabbing hand. Now drag to move the template to where it's convenient for you. Let's add a black drawstring option here and take a final preview. Well, I love it, so I'm gonna save it. We've just scratched the surface of what can be done on AOP hoodies. Let your imagination run wild. Go have some fun in our product creator and try experimenting with other AOP stuff too, like socks.